And we have breaking news at 8 o'clock. That's an updated path on Hurricane Helene, and this storm is just getting stronger. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle Imperato. And I'm Jesse Pagan. Helene is now forecast to become a major Category 4 hurricane by Thursday. We're joined by Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi, Meteorologist Cam Tran. Guys, that uh, new update just came down. Bands starting to push in, mm -hmm. but we've got other information on that. Yeah, so with the 8 o'clock advisory, the winds did not really change, but what we are watching for is the millibar pressure. Mm. The, that is a sign that the storm is strong. Strengthening the Hurricane Hunter plans. There's actually two of them in the system right now investigating, and they did see a pressure drop in this storm, Tony. So the correlation that we like to make is this pressure drops, the winds normally get higher or mm -hmm. stronger. It didn't drop on the, it didn't uh, increase the winds, but I think what you're going to see in the next advisory at 11 is you're going to see a bigger pop in the wind speed as the pressure continues mm -hmm. to come down. Okay. You can get the pressure to drop and sometimes the winds not to go up. That's what we're seeing right now, but I think you're going to see that kind of fix itself at 11 o'clock. Now the storm's been over water, so this is expected? Yeah, yeah this yes, is okay. absolutely expected. So. In fact, we're, we're just beginning that rapid intensification. Right yeah. now. Okay. So uh, let me take you back outside. I want to show you uh, some of the scenes now with our particular storm system here and what it's doing on the airports. 88 flights on time, 36 delayed, four canceled. This board is going to be changing a lot uh, beginning late tonight and tomorrow. So we'll continue to pop that in for you from time to time. North now movement at 12 miles an hour. You take a look at the uh, the wind speeds. 85 hasn't gone up from the five o'clock advisory, but as Cam alluded to, the pressure is still coming down. So we'll likely see a bigger uh, increase in the winds around the core as we get to the 11 o'clock advisory. So here is Helene's size comparison to the state of Florida underneath it. And in the far northwestern corridor, there are three counties outside of any warnings just to kind of show you the overall large size of the storm well outside of the cone. And then look at this, the new information from the five o'clock advisory. Cat four uh, winds at 130 miles an hour, and there's room for that to get a little bit stronger before landfall. Incredibly good agreement now for several runs on our computer models, and they're all within the cone. Gives us a high confidence that we're doing a good job with what we're being presented with. So the confidence for landfall there continues to be quite high, along with the forecast there for this to be a major hurricane. Everything seems to be in sync. Uh, the thing that you really need to be mindful of is that when we take a look at Helene, there are going to be far reaching impacts well outside of that cone, and we cannot stress that enough. Although the greatest wind concern is not here in central Florida, it is up here, state capital, over towards Appalachicola. You do not need to put your shutters up. We are not talking about a hurricane coming here. Tropical storm force winds all across central Florida, western Marion County, could be a few gusts at or just above hurricane force. That upper low is beginning to pull this now to the north. It'll slingshot it to the north northeast here as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. The size of the storm, about 650 miles wide. The size of the wind field, not that big in the yellow area, closer to 250 to 325 miles now and growing with each hour. Let's take a look now at the, what's going on down to the south. Haven't had any warnings. Remember, we try to look at these storms as kids to see what their behavior is down to the south because what happens here eventually heads our way. So, so far, so good as the storm is lifting to the north. Now, we've had a couple of bands come on through central Florida. Uh, no real significant uh, winds over 40 miles an hour so far. But the one thing I am watching, again, this storm is right in here. Some very warm waters across the southern and the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. That is going to allow for this storm to continue intensify, and that's going to have a big impact on the storm cam going forward over the next 36 hours.